in February of 1932, a disgruntled farmer in Wisconsin found that he had cows which were dead or dying and no Wisconsin veterinary person would come out to his farm and tell, tell him what was wrong with the cows. They were getting distorted abdomens, they would get very weak and then they would fall down and die. So he took a dead cow and a hundred pounds of spoiled or moldy sweet clover and he put them in his truck and he drove all the way to the University of Wisconsin Department of Agriculture and in their chemistry building he stopped his truck, dragged the dead cow into the lobby of the chemistry building of the Agri Department of Agriculture of Wisconsin and he said, here, you solve the problem of my dead cow with a bloated stomach. Well, it stayed there in the lobby for a couple days. You could always step around a, a dead cow. But after a while, they said, we better really dispose of the dead cow. So they called the veterinary pathologist in Wisconsin. He examined the cow. He found out that the cow had died of anemia. That is, it had sp sporadic bleeding, little small bleeders in the intestine, but no method of clotting and no clotting mechanism. So what was wrong with the cow's blood that it didn't clot? Well, they examined the hundred pounds of spoiled sweet clover and they found out that the mold in the spoiled sweet clover gave off a chemical. And the chemical, when ingested, kept the animal from making clots. It was an abnormal clot making mechanism. Well, they discovered it, they got a patent for it, and then they sat around and they said, what in the world do we do with something that keeps people from keeps cows from making clots. Well, I said, one guy said, why don't we call it rat poison? Give it to rats and uh, they eat it for three or four days and they eventually start getting uh, petechia, small bleeds in their intestine and they don't have any clotting mechanism so they bleed to death and they have a distended. So they did. And because it was funded by the University of Wisconsin Alumni Research Fund, they used the acronyms from that word. Wisconsin Alumni Research Foundation, they gave the term warfarin. Warfarin is still used as rat poisons. That was in 34, they started using warfarin as a rat one. Ten years later, the same guy said, you know what, wait a minute, if it stops clots in rats and cows, why don't we try it on people? We will mix it with aspirin and in small doses, people start taking it on a daily basis and they do no longer get clots in their coronary arteries or in their cerebral arteries in the head. Therefore, they don't get blood, they don't get uh, heart attacks, they don't get uh, strokes, and it changed the world. More than half the people over 50 in the United States use this drug on a daily basis and it is called Coumadin and it has saved countless numbers of lives because it prevents clots, prevents strokes, and it prevents heart attacks. Coumadin is a miracle drug discovered because of a dead cow in the lobby at the University of Wisconsin.